Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Junior, and today I'm gonna be giving you some valuable art tips for you and your art career. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So art tip number one, make sure you step away whenever you feel unproductive or you don't feel like you have any type of creativity. One thing that I like to do is do some type of a workout, whether that's push-ups, sit-ups, whatever that may be even if that means walking outside for about 20 to 30 minutes. Sometimes we just have to let our brain flow in order for us to regain some type of different perspective or to gain those answers to those problems that we're facing. And sometimes we like to push ourselves to see if we can like find that solution to that problem. But most of the time, we just have to take a step away and maybe come back within a day or two. So taking a break whenever it's needed is definitely something that I truly recommend. Our tip number two, make sure you always educate yourself. Continuously try to gain new knowledge and new skills in whatever it is that you're doing. So whether that's watching YouTube or if that means reading new books. And it doesn't have to relate to art specifically, but constantly trying to figure out how you can gain new perspectives that can translate into your artwork will definitely help you as an artist. It's something that I truly love to do and I love reading every single morning. It's something that I do all the time. And the reason why is because it allows me to gain new perspectives for myself and for the things that I want to start producing. Art tip number three, stop comparing yourself to other artists. So every artist, every person is unique to themselves. So we get trapped into this mentality of why them, not me, or their work is better than mine. It is not. It is not better. You make it and you say that it's better because of your own mental judgments of what you're putting on yourself. It's not true. You can always look at other artists as inspiration to see how you can get to their level, which is not a better level, just a different level than what you are right now. So as long as you're constantly improving your work to how you want it to look at some point in your life or whatever you're doing, constantly looking at that and seeing how you can really grow as an artist instead of judging other artists thinking that they're better or worse than you. So letting comparisons go is gonna allow your creativity to flourish in ways that you really never imagined. Our tip number four, make sure you invest in your company. In the beginning, you may not be getting a lot of income. I get it. It's really hard to take the money that's coming in and pushing it out into the company. But the way I look at it is if I'm investing into the company, I'm investing into a long lasting future. So an example that I can give you is I, when I first became a full-time artist in 2021, I really didn't have any idea as to where I was going and what path I was taking. But at that time, I remember that I wanted to get an iPad so that I can start doing different creative work with Procreate, Photoshop, and using different softwares. I had no idea where that was going or where that was leading me to, but I was determined to learn the softwares and to learn digital art as much as possible. Three months later, I signed a $40,000 contract with the client and that was my biggest paycheck that I ever got. So if I were you, invest in your company as much as possible, invest in yourself as much as possible, whether that's you buying different equipment, whatever that may be, always invest in you and your business because the more you do that, the more you can take that and advance yourself in ways that you never imagined. All right, tip number five, make sure you follow up. Follow up with your clients. I can't stress this enough. If you have a client that reaches out to you about a specific project or a mural, whatever that may be, and you have been in contact with them, been talking back and forth, and out of a sudden, they just stop communicating with you, it's okay to reach back out within two, three days, maybe even a week, letting them know, hey, just wanted to touch base and see where we stand. A lot of the times, artists don't like to seem salesy or pushy, 
but it's really just you being passionate about your work and wanting your work to be out there in your client's hands or providing the service that you know you're good at. So make sure you take those steps in following up with your clients. A lot of the times clients will look at that as someone who's persistent and someone who's serious about their work. And that's all I have for you for today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments below what art tips you would want me to talk about.